What is up, everybody? It's all over here with us for another Tekken cosplay. And in this video, we're going to be turning Shaheen uh, into a character from a very popular movie from the 1990s. Uh, and they just recently announced that they're remaking the movie um, with a female being portrayed as the main villain, which, as in the 1990 movie, it was a man. So, I mean... Don't, don't worry, this isn't like a gender bent uh, uh, thing. So we're going to be turning Shaheen into Artist Day. Now for those of you who don't remember who Artist Day is, I don't have a way to show you the, the, the picture. But he was that pharaonic warrior looking guy from the 1999 movie The Mummy. So... Just type in Ardith Bay, A-R-D-H-A-Y, and you'll be able to look up that character. Um, I forgot the name of the guy who he was playing as, but after I changed the character up to match how he looks in the movie, or to the best, or as I like to call it, the... recognized version of Heart of Bay, <laughs> uh, then you guys will be able to get a better understanding as to who it looks like. I don't know, like maybe it'll jog your memory if you guys remember watching The Mummy from uh, like the 1990s. Right, so turn this up a little bit more. So, um, I actually got started working on his head earlier, and I just took his default uh, head wrap, and I... I had actually changed that to a like a navy blue uh, in order to match what he had on in the, the picture that I'm looking at and headband that's wrapped around it. Uh, I turned that into a brown. Now the picture that, I'm, that I that I have, I don't know if it's actually like a dark brown or if it's like you know because they were in the desert when they filmed some of this stuff. Uh, for the mummy, so I don't know if it was just like a little bit dusty or something like that, but you know, like I did the best I could with what they had available to me in, in Tekken. So, now the guy, he did have markings on his face, so I did make sure to put, you know, something on his face, either this right here or this, but this looks more like what he had. Now, of course, they don't have like the Arabian uh, symbols and markings to put on his face like they did in, in the mummy but so I'm gonna just work with that and I had this is the default beard and I just turned it dark Art of Bay does have this even though it looks more so like a goatee he does have like the long uh, uh, hair on, on like the side of his cheeks as well so I just turned that extra dark in order to match that because he does have dark hair right there so that's basically what I did for his head um so, now somebody had told me earlier that, you know, uh, that somebody had did like an Assassin's Creed type character with, with Shaheen. And the thing is, I already knew somebody was going to do that. It's like when you see an Arabian guy that kind of, you know, that wears this type of attire, the first thing that kind of screams out at you is Assassin's Creed. And I, and with these Tekken cosplays, I never wanted the, the character that I'm making to be that obvious. Oh, again, well, I never wanted to be that obvious, so I try to keep it interesting and, you know, just do ideas that people wouldn't even think to do. So this is one of them, so, um, I want to go with this, but he didn't have all these spikes on him, so I think i just take this, so I can still change the color. Everything else is basically unlocked, so I don't need to do anything else. So I just need to change the color to have it match. Versus, and ironically enough, I'm oh, good. This is black, though. This is solid black. So, this part, just depending on price. Right, so I'm gonna change this black for now. Just, I think you had on.
Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know. I'm just curious. That's the thing. I don't think that one. I think it was just like a top wrap. Then you just didn't have a uh, shirt on. Oh, no. Oh, well, like his, his actual costume. They have that. With the undershirt with that black suit. Oh, um, it was actually like a, I don't know, like I want to call it like a yellowish green. Now he did have, he did have on some similar outfits. One was in the Mummy Returns and, and one was in the Mummy, uh, one. Well, one was in the Mummy and the other one was in the Mummy Returns. And again, like these are the 1999 movies here. Um, like 1999, I think that one came out in uh, 2000. So, just keep in mind what I'm trying to do today. That shit that he had on underneath that. Uh, I don't know, it almost looks kind of yellow. Even though it was kind of, uh, I, I'll probably just go with this, considering that I just don't have, or, or I might just match it with what I have right here. Like, just match it with a thread wrap. So, at the, at the very least, I know what that looks like. You know, like, the shade is what's really the big mystery. Trinkets. You can turn these gold because that's actually what they were. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have got the one that had those accents on it. Enough, this is going to be one of oh, here we go. That's what so we actually have his um, pants on. Uh, I want to say he had on something like this, but I'm, I'm completely, but I know they weren't shorts, that's for damn sure. Or, or, or these Caprice, I know they, they didn't have any, any Capri style pants. At least I hope I'm, 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 I'm not mistaken. It seemed like he did have on something like that, it's just that the boots are on these... The boots on these actual bottoms aren't matching up to what he had. But it seems like I can... As, as, it seems like you got to pull something off of it. It seems like I got to pull something off of it. Oh, probably even these. For all I have available to me. I don't want to do these. It's kind of, I kind of keep my distance away from these leather pants. They never really look as good as you want them to look. I would say for the sake of matching the, that robe, I would get these. Get these. Yeah, these only. You can have on jeans. Definitely have on jeans. 
the bottles that he had on the camel. So it definitely worked. Funny enough, it was like this, but, but the pants went all the way down to the ankles. Like they weren't like right underneath the knee. Or I mean at the calves. So that's the only downside to this. Other than that, it's pretty accurate. Right there looks better. I should have done that earlier. But that was the orange top, right? like the orange, the, that line of colors that was right there next to the red. Um, I just turned it next to it, like a brown color. That actually fits. It literally actually fits. reason like his robe looks like it will be black but it's it almost seems like it has like a blue hue to it almost like a, like a lot of these cosplays that i'm doing is it, they seem like they, they're black but they have like a, a blue hue to them almost like they're like a navy blue like they're not completely black so Or at least it just doesn't come off as that. Those don't really come off as completely black. Oh, no, like those axes just seem a bit much. 
I'll just stick with this. Go with all black eyes here. Oh, that's right, I gotta change your shoe. Um, uh, color. You wanna hide the fact that you have that. Uh, or rather, you want those, um, uh, those ankle bracelets around the shoes to, to blend in with the color of the shoes as much as possible. Of course, we actually could have a bird on his, on his, uh, on his uh, oh, so this actually fits. did have a, a, an assault rifle, so that's the downside is that you can't change the color of it. We did have an assault rifle. Like that. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Uh, he was like, uh, yeah, that's him. Part of the from the Mummy, part one and two, from 1999 to 2000. I'm going to give him a, a new screenshot. I wouldn't be bad if as long as I could put ego in the shot. Yeah, I don't think that's what I mean. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I don't think that's what I mean. The bird is hard to catch. Let's all know that you can stop the hazimati. I want to try to. I am confident in my ability. Try one more time. I am confident in my ability. Yeah, that's not bad, that's better. I found another picture. The top of that, um, his head wrap, it has like three different colors. It has blue on top, like it's clearly blue on top. And then it's black at the bottom, but then there's a brown leather Headband in the middle. Obviously, we don't. We don't. Um, that a second base color is just hitting me. Let me see if I can change this a little bit darker.
That is, that's just gonna see it a little bit. There we go, that's better. Okay, that's better. Oh. Um. Justice. I know some of y'all like man, just going. I want to look like the character as much as possible. You know, it's not going to be 100% accurate because of the limitations in certain books. You know, you know, it could be done. You know, let me just see. I would have did all black. Like, let me just see what it looks like, because it probably end up looking better than what I'm thinking. Maybe it's the shoes that's on the phone.
Era sempre. Shot of his body of face that I want. It's a little good because I'm kind of tired of going with like a uh, teeth. But I kind of want the colors to be somewhat different. Um, but yeah, this is harder. Uh, 1999 movie. You look them up if you're confused. I'm pretty sure you'll understand it better when you see what he looks like for yourself if, if you don't remember them. <laughs> 